Hello, this is Jenny from Healing the Wounded Heart. Recently, a friend very kindly gave me a gift voucher for attending a taster day at a pottery class. I guess, to be really honest with you, when she first gave this voucher to me, I wondered whether this was really something that I wanted to have a go at doing. Anyway, I arrived to the day not feeling exactly excited about it. In fact, I soon began to feel very uneasy as I waited along with the other people for a late arrival. I became aware that I had this horrible feeling that I was in the wrong place and about to try and do something that really wasn't me. I wonder, have any of you ever been in a similar situation? Now, as it happened, there were seven of us in the class instead of eight. And, well, you may have already guessed that there was soon going to only end up being six because I quickly disappeared at lunchtime. I basically just could not get the hang of working the clay and using the wheel. Now, if I had been able to have received one-to-one -one teaching, just maybe things would have worked out better for me. I don't know, though. Anyway, I phoned my husband as soon as we dispersed for lunch and asked him to pick me up because he had to drop me off earlier as he needed the car to go to church. Now, when he told me that the very same person that had kindly given me this gift voucher had invited him to lunch, I suddenly burst into tears. Oh no, I thought, now I just feel really terrible. Do you know the outcome of all this is that my husband soon arrived, picked me up, we both went off to this person's house for an amazing Sunday lunch. And I apologised so much to her. And she was absolutely brilliant about all this. Now, I have to tell you that I did struggle for the rest of the day with those feelings of failure, beating myself up, saying to myself, well, maybe I should have persisted. Maybe I should have tried harder. Well, maybe I should have done. I will never know. But, you know, I have been in situations before when I have really struggled with something that I absolutely hated doing. It's at these times that I seem to forget what the scripture actually says. And I'm going to read to you the scripture from the Amplified Version in Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. So this is what it says. Let the peace of Christ, the inner calm of one who walks daily with him or her, be the controlling factor in your hearts, deciding and settling questions that arise. To this peace, indeed, you were called as members in one body of believers and be thankful to God always. You see, to be really honest with myself and with you today, I did not have any peace about this right from that moment when she gave me this voucher. So maybe I should have been honest with myself and I should have then been honest with her and said, well, thank you so much for this voucher, but actually this isn't me. You see, I didn't want to be honest with myself and I didn't want to hurt her feelings. Life is not easy, is it? But you know, we can be assured that even though things don't always work out the way that we hope they would, we can be assured that God still works in every single thing that we go through for our good. So what have I learned from this? that I need to take this verse on board immediately. I need to trust 
how God leads me and speaks to me. I need to trust that actually the inner peace of God is this guiding factor in my life and in your life. So be encouraged today. You may have feel that you failed. You may be beating yourself up. Do you know God is still there with you, working all things out for your ultimate good. Hallelujah. He wants to continue to teach you and to guide you for his glory. Amen.